Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, A, B, this side length uh, B, C, and this side length uh, C, D are equal to each other. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, B, C, D is uh, 30 degrees. Whereas uh, this angle uh, DAB is uh, being represented by X and the angle uh, ADC is being represented by Y. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, angle uh, X and the value of this angle uh, Y as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, side AB is equal to this uh, side uh, BC. And the angle between them is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, we are going to think uh, outside the box. And we have constructed uh, this square uh, ABCE. As you can see in this uh, next step and we can see that this uh, side uh, CE is equal to this uh, side uh, AB if so that means uh, they are both uh, equal and likewise uh, this side uh, AE is going to be equal to this side uh, BC and bear in mind in this uh, square all these uh, interior angle this angle uh, this angle uh, this angle are are going to be 90 degrees and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole angle is uh, 90 degrees this angle uh, BCD is uh, 30 degrees so therefore uh, this uh, remaining angle has got to be 60 degrees and now we can see that this uh, side uh, CD and this side uh, CE are equal in length and the angle between them is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore I am going to connect uh, these two points uh, D and uh, E as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle CDE and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore, uh, that uh, angle, this angle uh, CDE and this angle uh, CED are going to be congruent as well. And we know this angle is 60 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. And likewise, this angle is going to be 60 degrees uh, as well. So therefore, uh, this triangle uh, CDE turns out to be an equilateral uh, triangle since all these uh, angles uh, in this uh, triangle uh, are uh, congruent. In other words, uh, all these uh, side lengths, uh, this one, this one and this one, they are going to be equal as well. And here's our next step. Let's make an observation once again. This uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. And this uh, whole angle uh, is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining angle uh, has got to be 30 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADE. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be congruent to this whole uh, angle. Let me label this angle as uh, alpha. Then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, the sum of these uh, three interior angles, uh, alpha plus uh, alpha plus uh, 30 degrees, uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, I can write down uh, alpha plus angle alpha again, plus uh, 30 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. And that is going to give us uh, 2 times alpha plus uh, 
30 degrees is going to be equal to 180 degrees. Let's subtract 30 degrees from both sides and here we can see this 30 degrees and negative 30 degrees is gone. So therefore 2 times alpha is going to be 150 degrees. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate alpha. So therefore our angle alpha turns out to be equal to 75 degrees. So therefore our these two angles turns out to be 75 degrees each. And finally let's focus on this uh, angle that is our uh, 90 degree angle. And this uh, angle is uh, 75 degrees. So therefore uh, this remaining angle uh, DAB is going to be 90 minus 75 degrees is going to give us uh, 15 uh, degrees. So therefore our uh, angle X value turns out to be 15 degrees. And finally let's make an observation. We can see this whole angle uh, is uh, Y and that is going to be the sum of these two individual angles uh, 60 degrees uh, and uh, 75 degrees. If we add uh, 60 degrees plus uh, 75 degrees uh, that is going to give us uh, 135 degrees. So therefore our angle Y value turns out to be 135 degrees. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle uh, X value turns out to be 15 degrees and our angle Y value is 135 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.